strategy and authority plus Jesus. Hi, I'm Christina from Christina Talks Radio, the channel you're currently on. If you want to support me, I want to support you. If you're open to it, I would love a like and a subscribe. I love comments. If you want to interact with me, you can find me on Facebook at Holistic Human Design. If you want to book with me for an impact session, a blockage removal session, a family bundle of human design or a human design chart overview, if you want to book any of that with me, or just talk to me, message me through holistichd.com. You can find on my homepage information about that. I'll link the website to my site below. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm trying something different. This is me on the series, Christ and Human Design. I am a 4-6 splenic authority ego manifester for those of you that do human design. And I am a sister and daughter of Christ as well. There is a previous video that touches on some of my um, story and also how Ra and Jesus Christ uh, talks about raw and Jesus Christ and human design on this channel, as well as the global orchestration directory and projectors and how the global orchestration directory, metaphorically speaking, figuratively speaking, is a projector currently in my series, Christ and Human Design. So let's, let's unpack this and get into this today. I want to start with reading something from the Bible. And before you go, for those of you that don't believe in Jesus, as anything or that only primarily do human design. This is exactly why strategy and authority works. So hear me out. This is John 14, one through seven. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in the Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. I'm going to read that again, that particular verse, that's 14.4. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come unto the Father except through me. If you know me, you know my Father too. From this moment, you know him and have seen him. And that's powerful, powerful. For those of you that are followers of Jesus, the only way to the Father, you know from experience, the only way to the Father, God, universe, the omnipotent, omnipresent being that is, is through his Son, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, who came and died for our sins. Now, for those of you that are on my channel that do human design, let me plug this in for you. And for those of you that are both, this is this may, this is a contemplation exercise for you to do. And I'm going to share with you my contemplation. So again, everything I say is um, mutable, changeable. I'm constantly learning and working alongside God and Christ, as well as my strategy and authority to navigate life and bring this to you. So strategy and authority, what is it? You were born with a unique body, with a unique way of being, with a unique personality and a unique soul. You were born in a time and a place with an imprint that no one else has in the world and no one else will ever have. You are a unique expression of you. And your human design chart, your human design body graph shows you what you were born with. There are nine chakra, nine centers, is what they're called in human design. There used to be seven chakra, now there's nine centers. They, we have evolved over time. And these centers are either colored in and defined in a certain way, which um, some of you may have, and some of them are open or receptive or undefined and not colored in. That's a, if you wanna know more about your centers and your chakra and your channels and your gates and all of this imprint that you have, you can book with me at holistichd.com for a human design chart overview. You can reach out at Holistic Human Design on Facebook. I also have a parenting group, Human Design Parents, if you're curious and interested and want to dive in. So you have these, this imprint and this energy way the body works. And Jesus, Jesus had one too. 
We do not know. There is no way to know Jesus' exact time and place of birth. Scholars have been probably wondering this for years. But we know ours. If we're fortunate enough to know ours, if we have an ability to check at the birth certificate and on your time, your place, location, and how this all works, I'm not going to go into in this video. You can again book with me if you're curious about your human design chart, but you are born with a unique imprint, a unique body, a unique vehicle, a unique mind, a unique soul. And your strategy and authority can be identified by your human design chart. For somebody who has been practicing human design for a while, they may be able to tell you right off the bat what it is. For somebody who has been certified or has gone through analyst training, they can give you a foundational reading where you are able to get the information from somebody who can read this complex chart to you. The chart that you see is actually a simple chart when you look at your basic human design chart, which is what you get when you put your information in to a chart generator. You can go to my resource page and find a free chart generator from Jovian Archive at holistichd.com in the resource tab. It's my favorite, it's the most effective, and it's the original chart generator. Your strategy and authority is based on the unique configuration of how energy, emotion, knowledge, intuition flow in your body. This is something that we were knit perfectly in our womb with, with intent. Human design explains scientifically, it shows us how parts of the forming of the body, when certain things are imprinted, and that is what you are at birth. That is how you came out of your mother's womb. Now there's this aspect of nature and nurture in life, right? So you've got the nature, which is the imprint you have, what you're receptive to and what you have defined consistently for you. Some of you have to fit this, some of you have consistent heart definition. Some of you have, will never have consistent heart definition. And that if your heart center is colored in red, you have consistent heart definition. If you do not, you're receptive to everybody else's conditioning as well as the transiting energy. So what does that have to do with Jesus? Okay, so strategy and authority is how to know your knowing. When Jesus says, you know how to find me, you know the way to me. When he says this, it was because they knew from experience, Jesus, what was and what wasn't. They had been around him, his disciples, experiencing, doing miracles through, through him. He was doing miracles through them. And they'd even taught in ways they had no idea they were capable of teaching. And it was totally something they could not have done without Jesus and God, God universe. I may do a separate video on God and why I call God, God in Christianity as well as God universe. If it's offending you, please, um, please recognize that God cannot be limited, that God cannot be put in a box, that God is beyond our comprehension and understanding, and that if you know Jesus, that you have your own compass, you have your own knowing, you have your own truth. And that is what strategy and authority shows. There's this disconnect though from human design to Christianity that is prevalent. There, when I, I'll use myself here, when I started experimenting with human design, I didn't understand because people, those around me in the past and the present, were very clear that whatever this human design stuff was, wasn't of God. And I believed them. I am somebody who has an open solar plex. So I was feeling their opinions, judgments, and beliefs in my open aspects and made that mean it was truth. That is something we all do. No matter if you're a manifester, a reflector, a projector, or a generator, manifesting generator, which is also a generator design type, we take in the opinions, beliefs, energy, emotions, will, of others, pressure of others our whole life. And that is not something our human design chart shows. It shows us where we take in those aspects. If your root center is undefined, if it's open, you take in others' adrenaline pressure from the root to be free of pressure. So strategy is something that you can identify in your chart. There's splenic authority. I was speaking to strategy. There's four different strategies. For manifestors, your strategy is to inform. 
going to give you a secret here, manifestors. This is political and not mechanical and for our own, our own empowerment and for the empowerment of our future. We are the only type that does not have to do their strategy to get results, but informing or not informing as a means to move freely in the world, to not impact others in a negative way is very powerful and very important. Projectors strategy is wait for the invitation, waiting for the invitation. Now I can't tell you if it, Jesus can give you an invitation. I'd say yes, but I cannot tell you because I am not a projector and I have not experienced this. What I do know is that Jesus says there is no other way to the father, but through me and that you know me, you know me and you come to a relationship with Jesus. And I'm inviting you to here projectors through prayer, through reflection, through faith, and to get to faith, you have prayer. If you're not a believer and you do human design, I'm gonna ask you right here, right now, whether you're a projector or any design type, to pray. You know, human design says, try your strategy, try your authority, experiment, live the experiment. In the same way you experiment with human design, experiment with Jesus. Whatever you think he is, ask him what he is. If you're curious if it's, what people have done to him, ask him what people have done to him. I'll finish my story about how people were the reason I walked away from Jesus. Conditioning demons and not in the keynote sense, because there's a keynote for demon in the human design language. Demons in the Christian sense were the reason why I walked away from my brother and father who opened doors for all of us. So prayer, I'm going to invite you, not just the projectors, but if you're a projector, to pray for Jesus to show you the way invitation. Wait for the invitation. Generators and manifesting generators. Wait to respond. What you respond to is what you're going to manifest. If you're trying to initiate from nothing, you're going to hit huge roadblocks. You're going to be spending the energy that is your God-given birthright to spend on things that don't fulfill you, don't satisfy you, don't make you feel good. And just so everyone knows here, these three solar types, solar types, manifester, projector, reflect, manifester, projector, generator, and manifesting generator. We're solar types. The reflector is a lunar type. The manifester, we, and all types, and reflector, we wait to. I'm a manifester, and we wait to. We wait for our knowing, for our authority to move us, or, and for Jesus to open the door for us to impact and inform others so that his will, so that our will that we were created with knit in the mother's womb perfectly with will manifest. Reflectors are a lunar type. This is very different. Their strategy is wait 28-ish because there's a, it's not exactly 28 days, 28 lunar days and watching the calendar. And if you're a reflector, I'm gonna put this in there because there's not a lot of information about reflectors. I want you to know that the pattern and the cycle, that for a pattern, the likelihood that someone or something is going to actually cause you to need to use your authority and see the pattern and then trust your, um, your truth is rare. There's not enough authentic, genuine people in the world for you to actually be able to do what you do as a reflector. And this is another reason Jesus is powerful. There are things outside of our control with our strategy and authority. If one human was designed, one human was designed to lead the world, they couldn't do it without Jesus. They couldn't. Their strategy and authority in human design is designed to get them to opportunities that were created for them when they were knit in the womb. Now, that doesn't mean that that can't happen, that you can't be manifesting and working and be a mother, be a father, be a politician, to be a leader, to be leading a community, to be an astrologer, to be a doctor, to be whatever you are in this world. It doesn't mean you won't get there without Jesus. It means you won't be having the impact and the scale and you won't be able to turn the key in the lock from everyone that you meet with more power. The fear of the Lord is something that I've been hearing a lot about lately. The fear of the Lord. I do not understand that concept the way most Christians do. I understand respecting the Lord. 
respecting his power, honoring his power, respecting his power. And let me, let me get down to the authority aspect because God is the authority and he created us to know him. And that authority we have inside of us, human design shows, but cannot be expressed in full without Jesus. It can be expressed, you can experience knowing your truth that you were knit perfectly in the womb with, but you can't express the full picture of forgiveness, of the not self being healed. It is something that I personally have seen in the, in the human design community, maybe you have too, whether on Facebook or just somebody you know that's fanatic about human design. I had my fanatic phase where I was shoving human design down people's throats like you would shove Jesus down people's throats. Like, this works! You need it! It works! <laughs> so your authority could be sacral. It could be emotional authority or solar plex authority. Those are the same thing. It could be splenic authority. You could have um, outer authority, like a reflector and one type of projector. You could be a mental mental authority, mental projector. So you could have your mind, your outer verbal communication as your authority. You can have self-projected projectors, and that's their authority, self-projected, being invited to speak is their authority. The sacral, sacral authority makes you a generator. Emotional authority can be both projector, can be projector manifester, and generator manifesting generator, those three different types. Splenic authority, you can be a projector and a manifester. Ego authority, which is super rare, is usually a projector, can also be a manifester with a particular configuration, ego authority. And those, those particular authorities, I believe I got them all. I missed one, I'm sorry. Those, those are the authorities. And if you're a projector and you're a mental projector, your authority is... <laughs> is so complex and beautiful, is to speak truth to others and your strategy is to wait for the invitation. As an example, if you're an emotional authority generator, your strategy is to wait to respond, to respond to things, to wait, to not initiate, but to respond. That doesn't mean you're not moving and, and look like you're initiating, but to wait till the content is provided in life to you, to respond to that moves you in your gut and your sacral, your sacral, your uh-huh, and your emotional authority, meaning that you get clear on it, you get clear moments on it. And I could go over every strategy and authority and every configuration and inform you of how they work, but you can book with me for that, a human design chart overview on my website, holistichd.com, link below if that is something you wanna go more in depth with, with or without Jesus. I'm happy to do a human design chart overview for those of you that do not believe in Jesus. We can just go over the mechanics, but for those of you that want Jesus and God to come in and support your process and your not self and your shadow self and all that you have taken in in life, we can also do that. That is part of my blockage removal sessions. I can do those as well for you. So how does strategy and authority and Jesus coincide? I'm going to go back to my story. About 2018, I discovered human design. I dove into my experiment radically. I wanted truth, and I was always a truth seeker from a young age. I'm not going to go into how I came to know Jesus, but it was at a very young age, and my family never shoved it down my throat. In fact, my mother is not the kind of Christian that I am. She's not currently in my life, but she also is a loving individual who believes in something that's a higher power. She kind of believes in Jesus, and I hope she, she gets to where she knows he's the only way. But I was not raised in a home where the Bible was shoved down my throat. It was an option, and I came to know him on my own, through my own strategy and authority in hindsight. So people have told me that human design birth time in place. I mean, maybe you've heard this birth time in place. That's like astrology. And it is nothing like astrology, but it is birth time in place like astrology. And you got to be like, what is going on? Like, how can God, you're using this. This is evil. This is evil. God cannot tell us our birth time in place. And this is where my mind was blown. He can. Why, why wouldn't we with science, with a science, get to see more of God's plan. God's plan is infinite. And if it scares you, maybe that's because you haven't been accountable for yourself or that you have some praying to do and asking God to open your heart. If it horrifies you, that is okay. If human design feels evil, I will tell you it can be used for idolatry. 
just like alcohol, just like a boyfriend, just like a girlfriend, just like your family, just like money, just like the government, just like a television, just like your job. Human design can absolutely be used for idolatry. Idolatry is rampant in the world. Idolatry is anything that comes before God. I used to do tarot sessions. You can still book one with me, but they're not offered on my website. And I bring it up because fortune telling is part of what is not okay. I've explained in another video elsewhere why this is, why you can do tarot and not have it be evil. But for sake of argument, I want to talk about human design and knowing something and in relation to knowing the future, in relation to knowing the past. Your strategy and authority, your body, not your mind, unless you're a mental projector at times, your body, it has intelligence that you were knit in the womb with, that Jesus gave you to know him, to know your way, to know the truth, to discern. And discernment in Christianity is reading the Bible, knowing his word, knowing yourself, knowing the truth, having prayer and this relationship, because with Jesus, it's a relationship. Faith in things unseen isn't faith in things you can never see. It's having faith that he will deliver for you and he has in the past. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe you don't believe he existed. Maybe you believe he was a prophet, not the son of God. Uh, in another video, I may go into the mechanical way that Jesus could have been with human design explanations of the cosmology of psychology of all the human design advanced studies. I may go into how it is possible in human design that Jesus was both God and man. So I actually, that is something that is possible through certain ideas and concepts in human design. But for now, I want to really reiterate that faith in things unseen, knowing your way, that is exactly what strategy and authority is about. If your intuition, if your splenic intuition, if you know something, you walk into a room and you see someone you've never seen before. Maybe, maybe you thought you knew them somewhere else and you knew them and you know them and you have this intuitive hunch that you've known them since before you were born. And then it's gone and then you're unsure and then it's chaos because all you, you don't know and then you question, do, what is this? Do I know them? Are they somebody I've known before? Maybe you talk to them and you have a conversation with them and it just makes it more confusing. Splenic authority will tell you something and then the rest of life unfolds and it never says it ever again. And all you have is your memory. Sacral authority is a knowing in your gut, is a knowing in your gut. And you will have this deliciously satisfying feeling that will be horrifying likely to the rest of your awareness what? This makes no sense. I'm supposed to talk to this person? <laughs> Why would I talk to them? I mean, maybe they're married. They're wearing a ring. I shouldn't talk to them. And there's this connection that maybe God universe has for you that you do not have the awareness of the huge plan. You have a knowing in your strategy and in your authority when you're responding correctly with your strategy that that is truth that is absolute truth with or without jesus with or without jesus i'm going to be bold here and say that strategy and authority works with or without jesus and here's the problem here's the problem that christ died on the cross for our sins for we have years of of conditioning say you're 42 years old you have 42 years of of being on this earth with those open aspects in your life conditioning you by individuals, by transits. And if you don't have Jesus, to heal that with just your strategy and authority is difficult because the, the voices you hear, the thoughts you think, depending on how you're designed, you may actually hear things. I'm not designed for that, but you may be able to hear things externally. That is in your human design chart. You may be able to feel things or see things in your third eye. You may be able to project things into the future. You may have, be able to smell something and know something like gladiator. We have all these different kinds of awarenesses and different ways that we experience things. And so if you're trying to know if you want to talk to this person or what's coming of this in this one instant from what seems to be a karmic connection from before birth, you could make up a billion different reasons to do so. You could make up reasons why they're everything in your world. You could make up reasons to push them away, to never speak to them. And your authority that you were created with, this inner knowing that you have, 
It only speaks once. And yes, it can change and speak again for sacral authority. An emotional authority will take time to get clear. But this conditioning you've taken in your whole life with this example is going to be present with you in that present moment when your authority tells you. So you've got 42 years of, of not knowing except moment to moment, knowing with your, with your sacral, if you're a sacral authority, maybe your emotional authority, you've got moments of clarity that you get and you're trying to figure this out. Well, what do you know? What do you trust? I can tell you, you can trust your sacral. You can trust your emotional authority. If you're clear on it, you can trust your spleen. You can trust your authority. God created you with it, but what you can't do, what you can't do without Jesus is remove, heal, manifest, and use the conditioning of your past to propel you into your future and transcend your body graph, to transcend your knowing. There is a concept in human design that is a hot button. Transcending your body graph cannot be done without Jesus. You can try and prove me wrong. I am so open to that. If you prove me wrong, I will be thoroughly impressed. And I'm not here to prove it. I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the way to do so without you having to do shadow work that tears you to shreds, that doesn't complete in healing. Jesus is the only way to your truth in the future. And then you look at the big picture. Jesus, God, can impact those around you. He's always working, omnipotent, omnipresent. Now, again, if you're in human design, this is just like, what is she saying? God is not the only way. The universe has flow state and will bring you what you need. Absolutely agree. God is not contained to the box of Christianity that Christians label, that I label, that you label. God is not contained to that. If God exists, he doesn't need me for anything. He can do it without me. He can do it with or without us. And we were knit to knew him and be able to do it with him. Come to know him through Jesus. Now, if you're doing human design and you're like, I really don't believe in Jesus, I don't know what's going on, I'd ask you to ask your inner authority. You were knit to know him. Whatever your authority is, I invite you, I implore you, I inform you that you will have mountains move inside and outside of you, no matter your design type. You will manifest with that. And I want to end this video with some new information that I received this week, actually from a sermon. There are three steps to a miracle. If you read about Jesus' breaking of the bread and um, multiplying the fish and loaves for the masses, and if you know the story, a miracle transcended. I, listening to a sermon this week, was informed about how, the, you know, the disciples didn't really want to keep going. They were exhausted on the boat, moving across the shore. They were tired. They were human, just like Jesus and they didn't see the bigger picture. They had gone out, they had preached the word and done miracles, and they really probably just wanted to sit down, curl up and, and sleep and eat and rest. And Jesus gets there, gets out of the boat and does the sermon for these people and the miracle of the breaking of the fish and the loaves and feeding the thousands. Now I'm gonna look at us as his disciples, okay? Look at you and I as disciples. We may be tired and weary. I know I have been through things in life that most people haven't been through. And I'm not saying this to be better than you because what you're going through is huge. If you're going through a struggle right now, please know that you are loved with or without Jesus in your life. Like, I love you. I love you. And whatever you're going through, please keep going. If you're on the other side of the tasks, I'm so proud of you. I just want to say that right now because the cycle of going through things that is this three-step miracle that I recently learned is is eye-opening is is amazing but it's also a burden okay so step one bless something jesus blesses the bread and the fish to multiply it bless prayer not bless prayer but blessings flow pray about it pray over the issue the idea the happening the the illness, the mental illness, emotional illness, physical illness, the ailment, your partner, your lover, your friend, your aunt who's going through cancer, pray for a blessing. Pray for a miracle. And then step two, and all three are required. Let go of it and give it to God. 
and accept the breaking that comes. Jesus broke the bread and the loaves of fish. You're going to go through a breaking, a very gentle breaking. If you fight it as I did when I requested my miracles, a particular miracle years ago, the breaking was hard and I didn't have Jesus. And now that I do again, now that I'm, there's a whole story there. Now that I am back in with Jesus in this beautiful relationship um, to my brother, the breaking, I can see clearly that the breaking is an essential aspect to a miracle. This doesn't necessarily mean you will be the broken one, but there will be a breaking in the miracle you ask for. Now the miracle is step three. You may not get the miracle you asked for. You may get the miracle you needed. Don't always get what you want. Sometimes you get what you need. If you have faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. But that requires yielding to the flow of life. That includes allowing your strategy and authority, your strategy, waiting for an invitation, waiting to respond, waiting to initiate, waiting to initiate waiting for the lunar cycle, waiting for your, your environment and the people in your life to come to you, reflectors. And you lean into Jesus because you know that God can do things we cannot do. You will receive a miracle. And the bigger the blessing, the bigger the breaking, the bigger the miracle. If you don't allow and let it go and give it to God, if you do not have the um, an honest heart, and you aren't, I want to say, it doesn't matter. I mean, accountability here matters, but only to letting Jesus take your life because there are things like drugs and alcohol, porn addictions, addiction in general, that we cannot control on our own. As somebody who was addicted to packs of data cigarettes and gave it to Jesus and quit through Jesus, I don't think I would ever have been able to do that without, I know, I wouldn't have been able to do it without Jesus. So whatever you're going through, I want you to know that strategy and authority is absolute truth for me. Again, this video is my contemplations and my awareness and my informing. So if this isn't fact to you, I support that. You're different than me. You were created different than me. You're created to have different opinions, beliefs, happenings, and faith than me. And I support you in that. I also support myself in being able to express this so whoever you are, wherever you're watching this video, strategy and authority in human design is a truth. And it can be used for idolatry. It can be used to harm. You can misquote as the my last video, Ra, Jesus and Ra Uruhu, Christ in human design. You can check that out. It can be used to harm. It can be used to lie. You, it can be taken out of context, which it is both the Bible and human design. And the... And the truth that I want you to really understand is that that shadow work you're doing, whether with the gene keys, with human design, with some somatic work, with yourself, with your family, with your bathtub, with breath work, with whatever in your relationship, whatever you're doing to heal will be amplified and the salve that is what will come in and heal you fully, radically, is asking Jesus. So pray to him. And I want to say a prayer right now for all of us. Jesus, I pray that you come into our lives. I pray that those of us that are struggling right now to believe in you or that really vehemently hate you, that we allow you to reveal your truth to us, that you would speak through us and reveal that you've spoken through us. I pray that you would soften our hearts, soften our knowing, soften our mind, and in anywhere that the enemy is has a hold in our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls, God, I pray that you would allow the truth to be revealed to each of us of your truth, that you knit perfectly in our body. For those people that are following their strategy and authority or that want more information of their strategy and authority, God, I pray that you lead them, as you say in the Psalms, besides still waters. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Whatever any of us, any of you are going through, I pray, Jesus, that you provide comfort and support and grace and your will be done in each of our lives and those lives around us we bless. God, it is only as being ourselves authentically with you that we can light the way for others. You can do it without us, but if we want to do it, we have to do it with you, God. And I pray that you bless each and every one of us to know your miracles, to know your truth, and to trust through your breaking, God. To know our strategy, to know our authority, and to know you as the ultimate authority. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope this informational video, this knowledge, gave you something to think about, to reflect on. If you don't know how to read a human design body graph and you want um, me to come in and, sh and explain and tell you what's going on in your body graph, I would love to do that. You can book with me at holistichd.com. I'd love if you like and subscribe to my video. It supports me immensely. A simple like supports me in ways that manifest for both of us. No Jesus required. I've got Jesus. And I am a 4-6, that's a profile, opportunistic role model, splenic authority, ego manifester. My only motor is my ego. And I'm giving this at the end of the video just in case for those of you that really are enjoying this want to get to know me just a little. Christina Talks Radio was founded when I was non-Christian. I had had Christ for a long time and I came to I came back to him when I was really broken. The miracle I'd asked for was truth in my life. I had wanted truth when I had Jesus. That is how I found human design, was wanting the truth. Uh, people around me did not see it as truth, so I walked away from God and I shut the door on Jesus. And I shut the door on God. And I remember both of them being like, don't do this. God was like, don't do this, don't do this. And God got behind the door. And Jesus, Jesus wouldn't. And I pray that Jesus blows that door continually wide open gently for me with truth and love. But my process with human design, I am studied in very advanced topics. I can read your human design body graph. I, I know and can see PHS, primary health system, diet, environment, um, view, perception, or perception, power. Oh. I am able to go into and pull from the depths of my knowledge and studies and educate you or inform you and show you aspects that you might not have been aware of. If you have kids, um, I do family chart, family bundles with human design chart overviews. There's a very specific way I do this because I am very, very cautious and protective of uh, other families, of families in general and your process. So it would not be a one session family, but it's fine. Family human design bundles are many sessions and I'm here to provide for you in that and to, to help you come to know Jesus more if that is your will or to just be able to read your body graph and understand how your strategy and authority can work in relation to the conditioning you've taken in from your family. I am so blessed currently to have uh, a way to record. When I went through what I went through, when I went through my breaking, I experienced homelessness, assault in a healthcare facility. Um, I lost my, my mother and most of my family through my mother. I um, was put in jail on falsified charges and um, had to spend a year correcting that. It's now correct. Um, so I've had police misconduct, but I've also had moments to, of grace and blessings. I've lost everything. And there was a moment when I said, to lose your life is to find it. And I wrote this on a sidewalk in a park called Veterans Park. And I was angry. And I was like, sad and angry. And I was like, God, you took everything. You took everything. And, and I, in hindsight, I think God allowed it to be taken for the breaking of the blessing of a miracle that is manifesting in my life presently. And I, I had to stop studying human design. I was living in my car, then I was living in, a, in an apartment with somebody who was um, so psychotic and sociopathic, who was very dangerous. As I was recovering from homelessness, which I had given up my home to try and keep my relationship with my mother. And I really pray over you that when you go for your truth, your process isn't this hard. I will tell you it might be without Jesus. So <laughs> give it to Jesus because he will never let you down. 
I continue to know that he has not let me down yet. Moment to moment, truth by truth, I am getting the means met for what I need. I pray that this blesses you. I pray that this finds you when you need it. And I pray that you know I appreciate you, even if you're just a lurker.